this week. Kaduna State Governor Nasir Ahmed Erufai commissions the sanitation, hygiene and water in Nigeria shown two project vehicles for 10 additional local government areas in the state donated by UK Aid and UNICEF. The Governor, while commissioning the operational vehicles, commends the development partners for the tenacity in helping environment issues in Kaduna State. He reiterated the state government's commitment to enhance and entrench environmental sanitation across the state. We are gathered here today, ladies and gentlemen, to witness another instance of this multilateral support for the social development aspirations of Kaduna State. On behalf of the government and people of Kaduna State, I wish to express our profound gratitude to UNICEF and the United Kingdom Depart Department for International Development DFID for all they have done and what they are doing today in providing new vehicles and supplies for the sanitation, hygiene and water in Nigeria project in Kaduna State. Ten of our local government areas are now enrolled in the scale up of the Sean 2 program joining the 12 local government areas that were covered in the first phase, Sean 1. Kaduna State Government, in collaboration with the World Bank, the Rockefeller Foundation and Digital Nigeria, organizes a three-day extensive workshop for 900 youths in the state to utilize digital platforms to promote businesses and gain access to unending job opportunities in the virtual economy. This is part of the state government's effort to improve human capacity and foster a booming digital economy in the state. Kaduna State Governor Nasir Ahmed Erufai approves the appointment of clerks for the legislative councils of the 23 local government areas in the state. According to a statement signed by the spokesperson of the governor, Mr. Samuel Aruwan, the appointment is in line with the provision of Section 16, 1 and 2 of the Local Government Law No. 3 of 2018 and Kaduna State Local Government and Staffing Order of 2017. The appointment of the clerks will enable the legislative chambers of the local governments to consolidate and function effectively. The appointed clerks are Aisha Togarba, Brindingwari Local Government, Grace Danladi Chukum, Bashir Lawa Gangara Giwa, Bashir Jafaru Igabi, Ishiaku Abdullahi Ikara, Others include Daulima D. Gaya, Jaba, Helen Jogada, Jamaa, Mero Mustafa, Kachia, Awal Abdurrahman, Kaduna North, Halima Suleiman, Kaduna South. Also among the appointees are Jamila Abubakar, Kagarko, Yakubu Benjamin, Kajuru, Tina James Bodang, Kaura, Musa Adamu, Kauru, Nuhu Lawal, Kubau, Dauda Muhammad Kudan, Isa Sani Lere, Ibrahim Matu Makarifi, Muhammad K. Usman Sabongari, Ubandoma Habiba Sanga, Aisha Abdul Karim Soba, Gloria Tambihi Zango Kataf, and Hayatu Lawal Atiku Zaria Local Government. The Spotlight Tonight takes a look at the reformation and rebranding of the Kaduna State Media Corporation, KSMC. 
The importance of a sound and vibrant public media in the development of the society cannot be overemphasized. This is more so with the broadcast industry, given its reach and grassroots orientation. This importance necessitated the establishment of the Kaduna State Media Corporation KSMC, which was born out of the former Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation NBC, established in the 1950s. Following the reorganization of broadcasting in Nigeria in 1978, all the then National Broadcasting Corporation stations, except the national station in Lagos, were handed over to the respective governments of their locations. Thus, NBC Kaduna was handed over to the Kaduna State Government and renamed Kaduna State Broadcasting Corporation KSBC through Edict No. 8 of 1978. And the idea of the media is to bridge the gap between the government and the governed. Understand? When government have noble intentions, good intentions that will serve the purpose of the people, the government channels this information or intentions through the media. So the media helps to bridge the gap between the government and the governed. And some of these policies are policies that eventually have serious bearing on these people. And some of them are economic in nature, how it eventually helps them in one way or the other. And no matter how noble these intentions are, the media is always there to bridge the gap. In 1991, the Kaduna State Government awarded contract for the establishment of its own television station and at the same time transferred the publication of the weekly News Monitor newspaper from the Ministry of Information to the KSBC. This necessitated the change of name from Broadcasting Corporation to a media conglomerate saddled with the responsibilities of AM radio, FM stereo, television and newspaper publication services. Accordingly, the present Kaduna State Media Corporation came into being under Edict No. 7 of 28 May 1991. The Kaduna State Government needed to establish its own uh, radio and television stations and even newspaper so that it can push uh, in the uh, public space its own viewpoints so that it can concentrate on its people in the grassroots. That's why KSMC has the tag, the grassroots station. You will be surprised if you go around the local governments in Kaduna State and even neighboring states you will see that KSMC is their favorite. In Kaduna, it might not be like that because at that time you used to have uh, FRCN very powerful, is serving them. But FRCN, which is a federal radio, is concentrating more on states and what is happening at the center, at, at the federal level. So Kaduna State needed to establish its own radio, television, and newspaper to be educating its own populace on what it is doing on their behalf. Over the years, KSMC suffered a serious neglect from successive administrations which resulted to infrastructural decay. In other words, it could not live up to the expectation to compete favorably with its peers in the country. And at that time, our offices we are shabby. When you come to our offices, there were no spaces, no good chairs, no good desk. The environment was not conducive for, was not a good working environment. But we were in the environment we didn't know. The infrastructure had decayed and is about given way. That was why, uh, before I came, the governor, in his wisdom, decided that, look, this building, we need another one. The governor decided in his wisdom that we need another building because of how poor the, the current building was at that time. They just felt that, look, uh, as it is, uh, there is nothing you can do to really make this organization uh, to be uh, what they want to see it uh, be. That's to make it world class. In the area of content production, the state broadcasting organization had struggled to live up to the expected informational demand of the people of Kaduna State 
and had fallen far below the acceptable standard, especially for the El Rufai-led administration, whose watchword is efficiency. Yes, we are serving our people. Yes, our people uh, don't have a choice. They are listening to us. But they deserve that we should always give them the best. And, you know, they look up to us for direction, for information, for entertainment. And I think we fail them in that sense. Over time, uh, we were doing it um, uh, earlier, but over time, uh, we just were giving them just anything. So, in my opinion, it was not just the infrastructure. It was not just the uh, processes, the systems. Uh, it was not just the institution. It was not just the infrastructure. It's virtually everything, even the mindset in KSMC, that was really wrong before at the coming of Malam Nasu Erufai as, as governor of Kaduna State. In line with the quality framework set up by the current administration and the mission to make Kaduna great again, the El Rufai-led administration approved the rehabilitation of the current building of the KSMC and installation of more than equipment requisite for a 21st century media outfit. The rehabilitation has since taken effect given the organization a new look, befitting of Kaduna State. With the current setting, the aesthetics, the freshness, the new outlook, the beautiful uh, environment and the conducive environment, it it's triggers creativity. You look around, you see flowers, you look around, you see beautiful things, and then even our mindset is being worked upon. Because those things we used to take for granted have now become serious for us. Apart from renovating the existing building, the El Rufai administration also awarded a multi-billion Naira project which is also ongoing at the moment. The edifice, when completed, will have a multiple state-of-the-art studios, office complex and all other conveniences. This will, therefore, place the state-owned media corporation in the front line of broadcasting in Nigeria, as well as enable it to compete favorably on the global stage. The new KSMC building will not only have studios for news and programs, but also have an event studio, which is second to none in the northern part of the country, to be able to host both national and international events. You have um, the studio areas. You have um, a world-class newsroom in which uh, you can be seeing people in the newsroom while the caster is, uh, is reading. Uh, you have a, a massive studio that is second to none in this part of the country, in the whole of northern Nigeria currently. No uh, studio is as big as the one we are building. Uh, and what we hope to do in that building is to have uh, uh, events, not just uh, uh, programs, but events like the Glow Calf Awards. We hope to bring it to Kaduna someday, uh, to uh, KSMC Studios, uh, like the presidential debate. Uh, it might not be ready for 2019 presidential debate, but I can assure you, whether we are here or not, uh, the people that will take over here will have a presidential debate here. Funding is another aspect in which the KSMC is enjoying under the current administration. The improved funding for the organization has enabled it to carry out its activities efficiently as well as the ability to train and retrain its staff to fit into the dynamic nature of the broadcast industry. Funds are provided, which I, con I consider a motivation. Funds are provided for staff who have ideas. If you have an idea for something and you write and then you're guided, you're giving funds to even go and do reconnaissance, which was not done before. You know, you go, do your recce, come back, write your script and do things, and you're given the opportunity to go and shoot, unless you don't put pen to paper and request for funds. If the idea is laudable, it is funded. In achieving the vision with which KSMC was established and placing it as a frontline in broadcasting in Nigeria, the administration realized the need to improve on the human capacity of the organization 
as it is essential to achieving this set goal. The first thing that was done here was not the issue of the infrastructure, was not the building that you are seeing now coming up. The first thing this government did was to uh, come and verify the staff, the existing staff in KSMC to restructure the organization. So each and every staff was examined to see whether he or she will fit in in the new vision. Do they have the capacity? Do they have the skill? Uh, uh, do they have the relevant qualification? Uh, is their file uh, uh, okay? That was the first thing. And secondly, what does a, a worker need? A worker needs training, he needs capacity building, and that is one area that I think the present uh, management has done well. A lot of staff have gone on training before now. Some people had risen to very high levels without going for any training. You would find someone who rises up to maybe level 13 without having attended one training. But with the current uh, uh, setting, you have almost everyone going for training, at least for one course of the, or the other, whether it is basic, whether it is intermediate, whether it is general uh, capacity building to help in the specific work that they do. People go for training. As part of the effort to enhance the activities and operations of KSMC as a high-end working environment, a request was made to the governor to allow for employment of essential technical staff for which the governor graciously approved. This action necessitated the organization to advertise the job vacancies on the Kaduna State Government website. Over 1,600 people applied and their applications were screened and sieved, and 499 candidates were invited for aptitude test. In addition to the aptitude test, KSMC auditioned all the candidates that applied for the post of newscaster and presenter to ascertain their on-air competencies. The aptitude test, we contracted Kaduna Media Academy, a reputable uh, media organization that came and independently conducted the, uh, the aptitude test. And that was not all. Uh, KSMC on its own also organized uh, auditioning for presenters and newscasters. All of them were auditioned, about 400 people were auditioned. Following the release of the list of the successful candidates who applied and underwent screening, aptitude test, and the subsequent offer of appointment letters, Kaduna State Government through KSMC organized a three-day induction and training for the newly recruited staff of the organization. Induction is meant to introduce people into their new sphere of life. Therefore, the newly recruited staff were taught the rudiments requisite for the noble profession. I want to congratulate all the new staff. You've gone through a transparent process. You're starting a journey that coincides with the renewal of KSMC's mandate. Because practically what this government has done since 2015 is to begin to retool the corporation to be able to better discharge the responsibility that the enabling law has imposed on it. Reforms that have taken place in KSMC over the last two years have really been very, very exciting to watch. Every day I've come back here, there's always something new to see. I remember when we first came in, for a few of you that know this office, this was not how it was before. There's been a lot of investment that has gone in, and there's been a lot of changes that are happening within KSMC. So you're joining the organization at a very exciting period, where you have leadership that actually wants to do the work, and is doing some of the work. So I think they really, really deserve a round of applause. Their employment and the infrastructural upgrade experienced in the Kaduna State Media Corporation 
will certainly usher in a new dawn for public broadcasting in Nigeria. I, I must commend the effort of government in this respect because I heard about the project going on there and I personally paid a visit to the premises of KSMC and what I saw, honestly, I, I must sincerely say I'm impressed. And what is the advantage? Well, we are in the digital age. We have left the era of analog to digital. You can't be seen to say you want to belong. You want to reach out to the people when you still live in the stone age. No. So I think government is sensitive to the demands of the, our time by going digital. So I don't think the investment government is making in KSMC is a wasted investment. It's, it, it will eventually pay off, as a matter of fact, because once that project is implemented, or once that project is completed, investors will be interested, advertisers will be interested to come and do business with KSMC. And once they do business with KSMC, you can imagine what amount will come in. Like most of these events we're talking about, presidential debates, um, Glow Cup Awards, or live charts and the rest of them, this will bring money into the economy of the state. So, but this cannot be achieved if government does not invest into that place. The newly recruited staff of KSMC were meritoriously selected based on their qualification and competence during the screening exercise by both the Kaduna Media Academy and KSMC. Some of the new recruits promised to give their best as they hope to be part of the history-making LFI era. Looking at uh, the environment, I think it is now very conducive for one to relax and then to put in his best to ensure that things work out well. Because if you look at the office, all the target that is needed to really enhance the work is there. You know, the, 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 the office is looking good and then um, uh, facilities are there for us to really work. It is only left for us now to put in our best to make sure that things work out well. It's unlike the normal process that most people do. We have to go through the stages of the aptitude test. Then from the aptitude test, for those of us that apply for newscaster presenters, we had to go to the TV station at um, Leventis Roundabout. We went for an audition there. So it's, it's, it's more like we went through a process from the aptitude test to the auditioning, from the auditions, and we came back here for the interviews, and we are here today. I must appreciate the government for a very good job done, because for them to have employed us, especially in this time where getting a job is seriously very difficult. And for the Cardinal State Government to have employed us, I think I give kudos to them. I have come to notice that the administration meant well for the state, especially in the media house, to, to see that the best is being employed to bring out the best in what the media needs. Residency project is a collaboration between the uh, Kaduna State Government and National Identity Management Commission to enroll all the residents of Kaduna so that uh, services can be provided to the residents. The residency card program is aimed at building a robust and secure database of residents for effective public administration and delivery of sustainable social services. Throughout this process, government will gather population records that capture the data of all residents in Kaduna State and use this data to plan properly for the provision of schools, hospitals, roads and other critical infrastructure. The residency card will also serve as an all-in-one multi-purpose card for identification, a debit card for financial transactions, a platform for receiving salaries and other means of social service delivery for financial inclusion. 
Duna State Government is the first state government, instead of doing it on their own, to create a silo that you cannot talk to any other database, decided to partner, which is what is supposed to be, by each and every state. The fundamental uh, drive, in, um, 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 listen, why this is being done is that we're trying to automate automation for all the most of the service requirements in the states and with the automation process based on the electronic governance e-governance agreement that we've signed with Microsoft it means that we have to go digital. It's a card that will give you access to other social services all other social services that will come in, uh, in the country you will have access by showing your national identification number Iguando Tone Jeff tweets, Kaduna state government has gradually digitized everything in the state. I wish other state governors can follow our march towards achieving a data-driven planning to solve most issues we will near solved. Kudos to Mr. Governor. Mohamed Abakar tweets, This is a welcome development. We hope that other states should copy from Kaduna state. Residency card is meant for all residents of Kaduna state regardless of state of origin. The aim is to enable the state to capture data of all residents to ensure security in the state. M. Orire tweets, This is the best way to start building a safe and peaceful society. Buhari I know 2019 tweets, The most amazing governor, you fulfilled the promise for making Kaduna great. This is just the beginning. Carry on at Erufai. Bolu Atife tweets, Impressive. Good work at combating crime. Bola Shofolue tweets, Very innovative governor. You can't argue with data. A modern government needs to know the vital socio-economic statistics or it will be reduced to the uncertainty of guesswork groping in the dark and thereby wasting public resources by not matching projects and services with actual needs. Nasser Ahmad Arufai. <laughs>